Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Zim the Dream. As you can see today, I'm looking a little bright today, you feel me? I'm looking like the sun. And everywhere I go, people are always asking, where did I get this jean jacket from? And the fact of the matter is, I actually dyed it myself. When I tell people this, they're like, Kazim, you did what? I'm like, yes, I did that. I'm that guy, you feel me? It wasn't even that hard. That's the, that's the crazy part. It was actually extremely simple and inexpensive. I thought it would be great to show you guys because I even wore this in one of my videos and then somebody was asking where I got it. So I thought, you know, why not make a video about this? This would be a fun little project to do, you feel me? You guys can do this at home. The jean jacket that we're going to be using today is this one right here. This blue one. This is like the basic color that, you know, everybody really gets when they get jean jackets. They get this like light blue one. This jacket originally, I, when I saw it in the store, it was around $10 and I was like, you know, this is a great price. But the problem is the color. This was a light pink jean jacket. And I was like, wow, that sucks. Like this color is trash. What am I going to do with it? What am I going to, what am I going to do? I'm in a predicament. What am I going to, what, what's, what's the solution? And I was like, this is 10 bucks. I'm going to just buy it anyway. And I'm going to experiment with it. Maybe I could dye it black or maybe, you know, I'll decide to go all out and do yellow. And that's exactly what I did. And as you can see, it still has like the pink stitches in it. This on the other hand, this has white stitches. So if I turn this yellow, it's really not going to be noticeable, which is perfect. Before we really get into this video, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe down below and give this video a huge like. That way I can reach more people who are trying to look for projects and fun things to do in the house right now. You feel me? So make sure you go ahead and do that. All right, y'all, we're going to get into all the materials that you need. As you can see, I have my little gloves on because I'm not trying to dye my hands or anything. So you're going to need some bleach. I have some Clorox right there. Um, you're also going to need some red synthetic dye. And I don't know why I took it away so fast, but that's why I inserted a picture. But you're going to need liquid dye. You're also going to need some tongs. I clearly don't have any, so I'm using a huge spoon. And what about it? And yeah, you need a huge bucket and some water. Also, if you guys are doing this outside like I'm doing, make sure you do it in the shade so you don't mess up the bleaching or the dyeing process. So the first step is to fill your solution half with warm or hot water and half with bleach. As you can see, this is what I'm doing here. And you're going to let your jacket soak for as long as it takes so it can really strip away that blue. So now I'm just letting the light blue jean jacket just soak in the mix and I'm just letting it sit there for as long as it takes and I'm also adding a little bit of detergent and this part is optional you don't have to do it but people do it and they say it helps the process so I decided to just add a little bit of detergent on top so yeah. yeah. So I let it soak for a minute, but I finally came back and it that thing was white, y'all. Like it stripped away all the blue and you will literally see, I, I laid it out to dry and it's good to go. It's, re it's ready to be dyed finally. So the next step is to make your dye solution. So you're gonna take warm water, once again, warm or hot, and you're just gonna fill that up enough to where you can fill your whole jacket and you're going to add the red dye solution um, or the dyeing solution on top of the water. So I'm pouring the entire bottle in there. They say you can pour up to like whatever you need, but I mean, I'm trying to maximize the color. I'm trying to get this thing yellow. So I'm doing everything all the way. As you can see, I'm just going to mix that up and then I'm just going to let my jean jacket soak in this solution once again for as long as it takes. So that color is really, really embedded into the jean jacket. Do y'all see that? It's already turning yellow. Um, it's just a matter of minutes, hours, whatever it takes you. You just have to let it sit there. I'm just playing with it as you can see. Um, I'm really just having fun with it because, yeah, 
I'm really trying to get all the spots and make sure everything turns yellow. So that's all you pretty much have to do for this part. Okay, so after letting it sit for a while, you can see this is as yellow as it's probably going to get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry off to the side. I'm just taking it out so that, you know, I can let it dry. So this is how the jacket looks when it's all dried. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. We're not done yet. We still have a step to go, but it looks pretty good. It would even look better if I would have bleached it even longer and made sure like there wasn't a single bit of blue, but it looks pretty nice. So the next step is to wash the jean jacket. And I'm just gonna be throwing this in a washer and just putting it on quick setting I'm gonna be putting it on cold but the reason why we need to do this is so that we can actually wash the um, chemicals from the dye and this is actually wearable now all right what's good everybody so now that my jacket is all completely dry I want to show you guys the final product you feel me this is how the jean jacket looks you feel me it's all yellow and all nice now, honestly, I think it turned out really good. The bleaching process is probably what took the longest because I had to strip away that color. But I think it was a great experience too because I just feel like I learned a lot this time about dyeing. And it's like in the future, if I want to do something where it's like I want to do a different color, I can I know exactly what I need to do or if I need to bleach based on the color, different stuff like that. But yeah, it turned out really nice. And I'm just going to give this to my little sister because she said she liked it. So she could she could go ahead and have it, you feel me? I already got mine over here. So she could go ahead and have that one. We're going to be twinning or whatever. Hopefully you guys were able to follow this tutorial and get your jean jacket yellow. And if you have any questions or comments, concerns, leave that in the comment section below, you feel me? And yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Make sure you give me a huge thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel for more. I have so much more content coming, y'all. Y'all don't want to miss out. So subscribe. Turn on that post notification, do all of those things. And yeah, that's it for the video. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all, take care.